Here's one of this week's big reviews, it's Cinematic Instruments Interval. It runs in the full version of Contact, it's not a huge instrument, it'll only take about 350 megs on your hard drive. And here you've got 13 different sound sources uh, which are spread out in intervals by the Contact engine. So what you do is you choose up to four of these and decide which intervals they will use on the uh, 12 tone scale. How this instrument works is a little bit hard to get your head around, luckily the manual is pretty good here. And you can create pads or arps or kind of rhythmic effects as well. It doesn't look like there's a lot of content at first glance, but once you get into it you'll find that uh, just tweaking a few of the controls on the interface really makes all the difference. As a bonus, cinematic instruments have thrown in two intimate piano patches. Uh, they're close mic'd kind of emotional and intimate sounding pianos with some fun controls for adding pot effects, noise and eight different types of reverb. So here I'm not going to go into too much detail about how Interval actually works, it's best to have a look at the Cinematic Instruments walkthroughs and also the video here if you really want to know the ins and outs of this instrument. Um, I really like the concept of it, it was uh, completely innovative, I hadn't seen anything quite like this before. Uh, the sounds were impressive, both the sources and the presets that have been made from the sources, and it's really perfect for both intense and subtle scoring, there's a lot of mileage out of those uh, few amount of sounds there. Things I'd like to see improved, well, the interface didn't really bowl me over, it's a little bit drab. The arpeggio controls are hiding in an options menu that's kind of easy to miss, certainly for the first few minutes I couldn't find it. Arguably the arpeggio controls and functions are some of the most interesting parts of the library and enable the sounds to be used in many different ways. So it's a bit of a shame that it's hidden away, you'll just have to poke about into the interface until you find it. I did think Interval was a little bit expensive for what it was, considering the number of sound sources and presets available, although undeniably it is an interesting concept so I can see why they're trying to push that and I did have a lot of fun with it. For more information about Cinematic Instruments Interval, head over to their website or check out the Samplecast podcast where you can hear it in action. Thank you so much for watching, that's just a small taste of the Samplecast, a weekly podcast and YouTube show for sample library geeks and plug-in enthusiasts. You can find out more information at thesamplecast.com, don't forget to subscribe.